Welcome, welcome, welcome to another episode of the Boxing Bookie. It's good to be back. It is good to be back. We're going to get into another one today. Uh, interesting fight, top ranked main event. Rafael Espinosa, who's coming off his upset of the year for last year um, over Romisi Ramirez, takes on a fairly unknown challenge in Sergio Chirino Sanchez of Mexico. And what should be a fun fight while it lasts. Uh, before we get into that, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3 Boxing, 3 Boxing Blog, all forms of social media. Uh, the Boxing Bookie can you for every single major fight, showing you how to consistently make money betting on the sport of boxing. The bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. I do. I'm going to show you how to consistently make money. Uh, join the Patreon. The link is in the description. It's also in the banner below. Uh, the Patreon gets a lock of the week. It gets you all types of ask the bookie anything. Uh, ask me to handicap any fight. Ask me to make a video. I can certainly do that as well. Just five dollars a month. It also gets you the updated prop bets and, and live betting strategies that aren't available on the video. So join the Patreon. Just five dollars a month. Uh, it's well worth it. We hit the lock almost every single week. It's a lock. Uh, so we're making making big money every single week. Also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel go to Autism Research. And recovery. All right, let's get into today's show. Rafael Espinosa was a guy that I was not super high on uh, when he pulled the uh, upset over BC Ramirez. I, I didn't see that coming. That was one of the ones that the bookie did not did not deliver on. Um, but that's all right. Uh, I, I went back. I, I watched a lot of him again. I'm still not. I, I'm not in love with the guy. I don't think he's a super prospect. I mean, a super champion or, or, or super fighter or anything like that you know i did miss some things which i want to get into he's long rangy he uses his jab well good volume good footwork he pivots in and out better than i thought good volume he keeps his jab pump pumping he really keeps the punches flowing uh from angles he works angles he can turn you he does pretty good things that you would want from somebody fighting a puncher which he, he's fighting a puncher he keeps his shot shot straight good straight punches both guys do this well both guys are going to have a similar style. There's not a, a you know, from a style standpoint, there's not a major major difference. Um, Espinosa is better. He hits a little harder. Better footwork. Better fundamentals. Stra uh, straighter shots. More powerful shots. Better volume. So he does a lot of things better. But the, you you can see they're kind of from the same school. Uh, they both keep marching forward. Good pop. Both hands. He's the bigger hitter. Both guys can hit. Defensively, his head's on the line. He's not difficult to hit, but he's got a grant chin. It's kind of what he is. Uh, he, he stays on you. He keeps you uncomfortable, which is ideally what he does. He can keep you uncomfortable from long range if you're trying to get in. And when he's on you, he keeps turning you. He stays on you. Volume, shots, head, body. He's a, he's a difficult guy to deal with. He's not perfect. Like I said, he's flawed. I don't love him. He's not the quickest fighter. He's not the best defensive fighter. He doesn't have – he's got decent feet. Uh, his feet – his footwork is really what I overlooked in the first fight. I overlooked a lot, to be fair, in the, in the Ramirez fight. He's going to take on Sergio Torino Sanchez, and it depends on what, what you search. He's either Sergio Torino or Sergio Sanchez. Yeah, it doesn't matter. Similar style. He's, not, he's just not as good as Espinosa, and that's going to be the difference in the fight. He's patient. He's a lot more patient, a lot more selective with his shots. He uses his length and reach very well. He throws long, straight shots as well. He's a sniper from the outside, or at least that's what he, you know, that's his style. He's slower, a little sloppy, and not a, hot, not a huge volume guy. So it's going to be hard for him to win rounds. Right? He's, going to, he's going to get outworked and they outboxed, honestly. He's going to look to set things up from long range. He's going to look to score with accuracy from long range. He doesn't do a great job of putting his shots together. Leaves himself wide open. He's defensively floored too. But guys are going to get hit in this fight. I just look at I just check all the boxes. That Espinosa is just better all around. He's got a nice jab. He throws it from a, a, a variety of angles. He slips it in there. He can shotgun at home. He, he can he can throw an up jab. Like he he works his jab pretty well. He throws hard. He commits to his shots. He is what he is. He, he's a little bit slow. He's got a good jab. He, pretty good from the long range. You know, pretty decent sniper. And he's flawed. He, he's, he's not particularly fast. He's easy to hit. He doesn't throw much. He's a decent fighter. I don't see him getting it done. He throws hard shots from the outside. Straight right is his best punch. His level of competition has not been good. He got one loss early in his career. Second round stoppage to Mauricio Laura at 130 pounds uh, many moons ago. 
let's see, what year was that? I'm sorry. I should have that on the top of my head. That was in 2018. He was stopped by Mauricio Lada uh, in, in two in two rounds. He, didn't, he quit, didn't answer the bell to start the third. And he gets a little overaggressive. He gets a little wild. Um, but his level of competition, he's been able to get away with that. He's not going to be able to get away with that with, with a guy like Espinosa, and if he does, he could get knocked out. He's a good fighter. He's not quite at the level of Espinosa. Similar style. I don't see how he has any path in this fight. Let's take a look at the odds. There's not a whole lot here to choose from, unfortunately. It's just a money line. Espinosa on a money line is minus 800 now, which seems a little wide, but he's a short thing. I would think this is a great bet to add to a parlay. I think it's safe. I think Espinosa definitely wins uh, when the – Props come out for stoppage and, and whatnot. Join the Patreon. We, we will review it together. Jo guys, join the Patreon. Take a look at the Patreon. Join the Patreon. We're going to look at the stoppage. We're going to look at the under. I, I do think Espinosa probably stops them, uh, but I want to look at that together. Uh, I want to see what, what the best bet is there. For this, we're going to take the money line. We're going to throw this on, on our parlay. It's minus 800, a $150 bet on a citizen loan bet makes you – you know, less than 20 bucks. So the odds are, you know, the, the payout's not great, but it's something that will bring down your odds in the parlay. So you can make some money up on it, on it uh, straight away and add it to your parlay, help bring down your odds on your other bets. I like it. Like I said, you know, I think it's worth betting one and a half times what you normally bet. So in this case, $100 will make you $18.75. I don't hear any complaints about the odds. They are, they are. I don't set the book. I just tell you who wins, and that's how you're going to make money. That's it. Bet, bet one and a half times, add it to your parlay. Uh, it, it should be safe. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie, all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie can you for every single major fight. Like I said, uh, it is June. Uh, join the Patreon. Link is in the description. Files. I want to get you all the perks. It gets you the lock of the week. It gets you the updated props like we're going to give you on this one. Uh, when DraftKings does drop it, it gets you uh, request a video. I'll give you the odds to show you how to make money in any single fight that there's a line for. Uh, so join the Patreon, just five dollars a month. It is June nineteenth, twenty twenty four, from Texas to the world. Thank you and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. Three Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe button now to stay inside the ring.